In exchange for reducing my sentence, I've agreed to review some locks on behalf of Masterlock, our proud sponsor of the High Security Lock Program. Gentlemen, my view is that you really don't need security at all. You don't need any kind of lock whatsoever uh, to secure because, quite honestly, when I see a lock on a piece of equipment locking up a jet ski or a bicycle, it tells me something about how distrustful our society has become. And the fact that you've decided to put a lock on your valuables tells me that you've bought into that. And it just, I find it disturbing and quite honestly disappointing. But this is modern world, I understand that, and uh, maybe often you want to lock some of your stuff up. And I suppose, well, <laughs> I suppose I can understand that. So let me tell you. The only lock you will ever need for the ultimate in security comes from Master Lock. And here's a perfect, uh, a couple of perfect examples. These are highly engineered pieces of equipment, very finely machined, very high tolerances. It's the best that money can buy. Not only do these have a high security exterior, very hardened steel, it's in almost it's practically impossible for us criminals to get into this thing. But we also have a precision four pin core. Now the beauty of these is that not only does it provide a high level of security, but if there comes a time when you lose your key, and we often do lose our key, one of the design features that our master lock engineers have built into these is that they're, you can bypass this core very easily. So you lose your key, you simply get in there, bam, you're in that quick. And it doesn't matter if you buy the smallest, this is a number three, if you buy a number five, or you buy our very largest core padlocks, they're all identical. They all have identical cores, and they're just that easy to get into when you lose your key. So, if you lose your key, you're not going to be stranded. You're not going to be unable to ride your bicycle or your motorcycle or your jet ski. You can simply bypass the locking mechanism by this engineering design, by our masterful master lock engineers. All right, enough of this silliness, gentlemen. Let's get these handcuffs off and let's talk about some real locks. All right, let's take a look at some good locks. Uh, you need to understand that this is the last thing between a criminal and whatever it is you're trying to protect. And of course, it's important to understand you're going to get exactly what it is that you pay for. And there are differences, there are indicators of quality, and we're going to be talking about some of these as we progress through these different locks. And I'm going to do it very, very quickly. I'm going to start out with what I would consider to be the minimum level of protection for anything you're trying to protect. And it comes in the shape of these. The most typical is this American lock. Uh, they're rectangular. There are other manufacturers. There's one by US Lock and another one here by Ace. Exterior, they're almost all identical. They have solid steel bodies, good sh quality shackles. Uh, the difference come in. These are all, by the way, right around, right around $25 US. The difference comes in uh, on the internal components. Externally identical, internally maybe not so identical. In fact, let me pull out the keys and give you an indication. The first thing you'll notice is that the one from Ace, although it's priced the same as the American and as the US lock, has a slightly different key. And it's a shorter key because it only has a five pin tumbler as opposed to a six pin tumbler. Now all of these locks are going to have security pins, so I don't think I need to address that anymore, but just make a note that these type of locks generally can contain um, serrated pins, which are consider widely considered to be some of the most difficult pins to pick. Now they can be picked. You will, you will get some protection, but you will get also some delay. The other thing to look for in one of these locks is ball bearing. You'll see a, the rounded portion cut out in the shackle there. That tells you it's a ball bearing locking mechanism and that, of course, that it can't, cannot be shimmed. One more indicator uh, of high security. Okay, so we're looking at six pin tumbler. Now the next step up are these, and these also same, pretty much the same manufacturers. The original, original designer is American. It comes with a six pin core. Sometimes these only come with a five pin core. Now you're going to pay right around thirty to thirty two dollars depending on who makes it. Uh, they're all identical. The patents have long since run out. Some of them will only have five pins. So you need to be very cautious of that. If you have a choice, find one with a six pin core. Uh, all of these, the only advantage to this over the previous one, uh, you, what you get for your extra 
roughly seven or eight dollars is it's much beefier it has a much thicker shackle so it's going to be much more difficult to cut the disadvantage of course is much heavier this is not the ideal lock to be carrying around if you're going to be locking up a bicycle for example okay, I try to get a good example of uh, US and foreign locks here's a fairly new lock this is an ABUS they are commonly available uh, here in the United States not this one this is called the titanium this is ABUS's newest lock it's only been out for a couple of years uh, the difference is this is a, an aluminum body pretty heavy very good construction very durable uh, very hard shackle so it's difficult to cut but this one has a much tougher internal core this is a seven pin lock so again more pins means it's going to delay the, the intruder longer if he's trying to pick it if you want to move up one of the most common yet equivalent locks here in the US this is commonly used by commercial entities. This is a best brand lock, very hard shackle, and it also has either a six or a seven pin core. Uh, this one's even di more difficult to pick because it comes with kind of a weird keyway, many of them. Uh, and the other uh, thing that, about these is that there are actually two shear lines. The advantage, of course, is that you can remove the cores from these. So while you might use this lock for many things. At some point, if you want to change the core, you feel like your key has been compromised, you don't have to spend $50 and get an entire brand new lock. You just spend about $20, get a brand new core, and just replace it, and there you are. And that's why it's so popular with commercial entities. So these, if you get them used, you can get them for about $40, and then if you buy them new, I guess they're about about $60. It depends on the keyway and the number of pins that you're going after. This titanium, by the way, is quite a bargain. You can get these for right around $30 US. Okay, continuing to move up the food chain, if you want even more security, we're going to move into, uh, this is a company called Multilock. This is one of their, well actually one of their uh, newer padlocks, again with the ball bearing, and the interesting thing about this one is that it is a pin tumbler, something not uh, I'm sorry, is a dimple lock. Not commonly seen here in the States. Criminals really aren't used to picking these. But pretty good level of resistance. These are pickable, but they're not really that easy. This is the older core called a 7x7. Seven seven. And this lock, uh, you're probably going to pay around $50 to $60 US for this one with this particular core. The older version, still available on eBay for right around $35 or $40, is this one. It's called the C-Series, and it also comes with the same type of um, uh, lock, uh, pin, uh, I'm sorry, a dimple lock. But this one, if you look closely, is actually a pin-in-pin. Pin. So instead of a 5-pin lock, like this one, this is actually a 7-pin lock, this one is uh, actually 10 pins, much more difficult to pick. Quite a bargain. The disadvantage on this one, of course, is that the shackle is not quite as thick as some of the others. Okay, we'll continue to move up. We've got an Iseo. This is something that they are available here in the United States, but they're not very common. Uh, the advantage here, of course, is that we're starting to see shielded shackles. So when our chain is on there, when we have it locked around a trailer hitch or around a, a shed, uh, the shackle is not exposed, so it makes it difficult for someone to try to pick this. This is solid steel body very hard shackle and this one also has a replaceable core except unlike the other core this one uh, has to be removed internally you can w once you open the lock you can take a screw out right there I think you can see it in the bottom the core comes out and these are standard euro cylind half cylinder cores and you can replace it with anything that you want you see this one here is kind of unusual I pinned this one up myself just for something to do but this will definitely take the steam out of anybody trying to pick a lock to get at my bicycle or trailer. Continue to move up the food chain, we have Medicos. These are excellent locks. You can see they're very similar to the previous lock that we were talking about, to the Ace or the American, except they're thicker in both dimensions. Very heavy lock, all solid steel, good shackle on this thing. Very good replaceable core, and the nice thing about Medicos is that I'm not going to say they're unpickable, but generally when a criminal sees one of these, he kind of gives up in terms of picking it. The reason is because not only does he have to pick, if I can get it to cooperate here, not only does he have to pick the pin to the proper height, he has to rotate the pin to a very specific angle. You can see they're cut at different angles, and if you fail to do that, you're not going to get into this lock. These are excellent, excellent locks. They're fairly light, very high level of security. They're great for securing bicycles or mopeds. Um, this lock sells, if you buy it new, 
well, they're, they're actually not made anymore, but uh, if you buy them in new condition, you can get them for about $70. And if you go on eBay, you can get them generally for about $40. They usually come with a couple of keys. Continuing up the food chain, now we have a very another one of the multi-locks. It's similar in to this one, just slightly larger. has a thicker hasp, and this one is now very heavily shielded, protected with the steel body. Uh, you, again, you can't get at that shackle to cut it. And now our cores, this one also has a replaceable core, except now we're starting to get into something very, very complex. This is a MT5 Plus core, so not only do we have all of those pins, actually 10 pins to pick, now we have a laser cut element that we have to get called a side uh, uh, sliders, and then there's a reactive element you see in the tip, so very, very difficult to pick. There's only a few people that I've seen that are capable of picking these. I'm not one of them. Uh, and I would suspect that the people that can pick these are probably not going to be the ones that are going to be robbing you of your bicycle. Okay, on, as far as standard pins, um, those are kind of what you have to consider. If you want to go something with a little bit more security in terms of picking resistance, you can go with something like this. This is an ABUS. These are available here in the United States. And these are very cheap for what it is that you're getting. These are about uh, $45. The reason I say these are very secure and uh, for the most part unpickable is because these uh, have rotating discs on the inside. They have to be rotated to very precise angles. Incredibly difficult to pick. I have never seen one of these successfully picked uh, on, uh, on YouTube or anywhere else. Very high quality lock. The only thing I don't like about it is they have a brass body. So theoretically that would be the weak part if you're going to do a violent entry. Moving up the chain, I'm going to spend a little bit more money. This is called the Insurance Lock in Europe. They are, these are available here in the United States. You can buy them on both Amazon and eBay. These sell for about $80, sometimes $100, depending on the size of the shackle and the size of the body. Uh, it has the same type of locking mechanism as, as the previous ABUS, except you got a few more discs to deal with. Again, I've never seen one of these successfully picked. So in terms of both the interior and exterior, this is probably one of the toughest locks you can get, and that's called the granite. And that's why they call it the insurance lock. In Europe, this is the minimum level of entry in order to insure a motorcycle or a moped. This is the lock that you have to have. All right, continuing up, if you just uh, are a fanatic about security, you can move up to something like this. This is probably one of the most famous locks. Again, it has... I think there are something like 13 million possible combinations, I'm sorry, billion combinations. It has more discs on the internal locking mechanism. Very hard steel. I've never seen one of these picked either. Uh, this is called the Abloy, and this happens to be the Model 340. Super, super locked. Hardened steel body, hardened steel shackle. Just a beautiful pe uh, piece of work here. These sell for Again, about $100. Uh, you can get them cheaper on eBay if you buy them used, and this is one of those things you're just not going to wear it out. If it works when you buy it, it's going to work when you die. And then the last, the highest level of security, at least that I have here in the lab, something like this. This is a, a, a multi, another one of those multi-locks. It has exactly the same core as the previous one, the MT5 Plus core, except now you see it's a much heavier steel body. It has a, a solid steel protection on the shackle. And again, it has the same type of core as that MT5. So, fellas, you wanted to know about good locks, you need to decide what it is that you're comfortable with. Which of these is your comfort in terms of weight? What are you going to be carrying with you on a bicycle? How much do you want to pay? And, fellas, remember, this is the last thing standing between a criminal and what it is you're trying to protect. So, if you have a $1,000 motorcycle or, you know, a $3,000 bicycle, for example, we certainly don't want to be going to something like this. It's just you may as well leave it unlocked. Think about the value of what it is you're securing and then make your decision accordingly. Choose the right one. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Good luck choosing the right lock. And stay safe, fellas. Stay legal.